schedule history now and uh, we can see here that we've scheduled for all day for monday the 30th of april and uh, we've selected we've scheduled all day from uh, 00 to 23 and uh, we've selected songs and links and these numbers here they show the number of unscheduled songs that we've got in the clock so we've got one unscheduled there one and one there and uh, also if we've pulled in our adverts maybe from the advert manager you will also see whether or not adverts have been scheduled for that time the other colors we've got uh, down here all explains it uh, the clear means unscheduled the yellow means that a template has been created which would uh, enable us to then be able to fill that in or a presenter to be able to come along pick their own songs into the clock the songs link scheduled green and then when the adverts are scheduled into those unscheduled advert breaks uh, we'll see an a across there uh, icons along the top a refresh you can choose to go into the schedule window from here you can also uh, choose to take off the count of the number of missing songs and also the count of the unscheduled links as well and uh, you can highlight some clocks here and you can choose unscheduled send to play out retrieve from play out um, so from that scheduling history you've got quite a quite a lot of flexibility you could highlight the next few days and go to schedule and uh, that would do it in fact that's what we're going to do we're going to highlight tomorrow we're going to highlight uh, the first of may click on the songs here that'll take us into exactly the same window as we would see if we were to hit schedule here and it pre-populates those uh, details that we did so uh, from monday morning all the way through to monday night and so what we'll do is we'll clear that off and we'll have a proper look here at the schedule music and links window so here we are the schedule music and links window and uh, it pre-populated the time we could go in and change that if we just click on the two button we can change that to a different date we'll just leave it on one date we can change those hours as well if we want to and uh, we've got the main window here the scheduling options and then we've got an hour restrictions window here as well so if we didn't want to say schedule the 11 o'clock hour then we could click on that and uh, that won't get scheduled anymore for this particular time and you've got various uh, order here to the way it does things and various ways that you can change things so first of all it creates and imports the schedule template that's uh, what we first need in place and uh, you could turn all of the rest of this off if you wanted to and it would create those templates and uh, it would then be able to be populated by freehand if you wanted to in your station log most of the time though you want to schedule the songs and schedule the links as well but you do have the flexibility here to say actually I'm going to uh, change my A-list so don't schedule the A-list for the moment but schedule the rest of the clocks and then you'll have the ability to go back and just schedule the A-list well I'll show you how show you how we can do that and the same goes for our links but we're okay with that we're okay with displaying the schedule logs afterwards and any warnings too now when it comes back to these songs here this is where you have an important decision to make as to which order do the categories get scheduled in so it might be that you want your current songs at the top and then you'll, you'll want your lower sort of decade songs and your gold songs afterwards because if there is a new song say by uh, Will Young and uh, you were that kind of station you really want the new song by Will Young to play over the lesser uh, the, the not so new will young songs so if say uh, that was your your list you can move that up in the order and you can see the c list is going to get scheduled before the a list and the b list and uh, so that is going to have a very important uh, very uh, impactful way over the way your your station sounds so do make uh, extra care when it comes to scheduling that you once you've decided on your order you can save your order you can save the scheduling order as the default so we can say yep yeah, that's fine that's going to be the default or you can actually just save it as a hot list and you can reload in your hot lists if you want 
and so your hot list remembers remembers how you want it done and also you might want to create a hot list which is you know everything but the C list or everything including the C list and you can reload those hot lists up from here so in fact what we'll do is we'll we'll save that scheduling order as the default and what we'll do is we'll save this as um, not a list so then that way we know what we're doing there and what we could do is we could make one which is only a list okay so let's just reload our not a list because we want to schedule everything but our a list we've done our hour restriction here of not saying 11 o'clock and again you can save and load those and you can also make one as your default so we're doing everything apart from a list songs and we're not doing the 11 o'clock hour so when we're happy then we can click on schedule so let's do that click on schedule creates our templates for the hour picking the c-list songs first because we said that that was our priority not picking the a-list because we said don't pick from there so it's now choosing b-list songs going through the hours of our clocks and then it will move on to our jingles our links bingo and it's done it and it's come up with our with our warnings now we knew we were going to get warnings because we haven't asked for uh, any a-list songs so that's what all our a our unscheduled songs are and also you can see our 11 o'clock hour has uh, nothing in it and so it's just warning us that there's nothing in that one and so that's fine and again we can refresh that we can print that out we could save it as a csv file and uh, bingo then we can go to our view log so this is our tuesday morning and you can see here we've got our b-list songs we've got all our links and everything but our a-list songs are unscheduled at the moment and so that's fine but it gives us an idea of how things are going to go we could go in there manipulate stuff move things around do what do what we did in the last window and uh, then when we were ready what we could do is we can go back into um, we could go to our schedule window and it was Tuesday that we scheduled for Tuesday to Tuesday and this time we'll load up our only a list so that way it's picking that we don't actually want it to uh, pick any sweepers and stuff because we've already we've already chosen those so that's all fine and uh, so we're happy a list only we've still got our hour restriction of uh, nothing at 11 o'clock we'll schedule that so now it's just picking those a-list songs to fill in the gaps and uh, it will just go through our clock hours and fill in those gaps and then we'll have a look at the scheduled log so now it should be entirely full of our a b and c list songs And there you go bingo just coming up with a few schedule warnings for us and uh, that 11 o'clock hour is still empty at the moment uh, everything else is fine we've got a couple of missing songs but uh, we're still within our time frame here that we're uh, we've agreed we're happy with so there's our songs and now you can see our a-list songs are in there now which is really really handy and uh, so that means that you can schedule your logs far in advance and then add your a list in uh, once you've once you've picked it you can uh, re stick that in and uh, update your clocks and, and schedule your clocks but it means that you can do them far in advance and then like i said just uh, stick in the a list songs closer to the time so that is the schedule tab there we can uh, we have the same sort of power when it comes to unschedule so we can select unschedule and again here we get the ability to unschedule songs from categories and again we can choose to unschedule everything apart from the a list or everything apart from the a and b list we can unschedule the links as well so maybe we've updated our promos we can unschedule all of those it'll, it'll leave everything else in place but it'll just take the promos out and then we can reschedule and uh, re-push through onto that if we've done anything in terms of the 
database cards we can refresh the log and that will send through the updated database cards and uh, the updated information through to the log send playout and remove from playout if you're using a third party playout system then that would be where you would do your send in playout and removing playout but uh, because we're using myriad playout here uh, we don't need to do that because uh, they are so tightly integrated we don't need to push any logs now so uh, we can do uh, an unschedule here and so we could uh, choose that and again you you can move the order up and down here that you unschedule things and uh, and then you just click on unschedule and it will just unschedule for that particular time and for those particular songs so uh, let's let's do it let's uh let's unschedule a list um we're, i'm quite happy keeping those we're going to unschedule all of the a list songs and uh, we're actually just going to unschedule them for uh breakfast time so we're going to take that off and we're just going to unschedule them on the seven to ten hours so let's do that so that's all done if we were to go to our view log for tuesday seven o'clock let's do that go to tuesday seven o'clock we can see our unscheduled songs are here Yep, so you've got Corrigan Brothers into an unscheduled song, which is a, an A-list song. And we've got Super Mode there going into an unscheduled song. So then, if we then wanted to come along, do some schedule, we can go to our Schedule tab. Just want to do A-list, please. And we just want to do the 7 to 10 hour. Schedule that. Oh. Schedule that. Choose the date. Tuesday, Tuesday, we just want to schedule that, yes please, just in those hours, thanks very much, and now it'll go through and it'll uh, pop those A-list songs back in, tells us uh, what we're missing, and so if we go back to, if we go to Tuesday 7 o'clock, we should now hopefully see those A, those uh, A-list songs in, so there's that super mode that was going into the unscheduled song there, and also we had one down here, Corrigan Brothers, that's going into our A-list song. So uh, we unscheduled and then rescheduled. So that's unscheduling, scheduling and unscheduling, done the refresh, sending and login, and then the hour restrictions.